hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video we will going to discuss about the module specific routing last day we have discussed about the routing concept and how to create link today we will going to learn about the module specific routing okay so what is module specific routing and why do we need this okay so actually routing module is a routing file suppose we are going to create a large application there may have many links and many things so using routing module we can make routing modular wise okay so let's say suppose in an application you have two types of users one is normal user and one is the admin type user okay so their access will be defined so we will create routing modular wise so all the user route will be in a one place that is inside the user routes and all the admin related routes will be in the admin routes okay so that at a glance we can found all the routes and it will be more clean and your application performance will improve because every time we are not loading the all the routes so when we need admin related things we will just load the admin routes and when we need the user related routes we need just user routes okay so let's see how it actually works so we already learned about the basic routing things so if we just go to the src inside the apps we will get app routing module.ts so basically this is our main routing file means all over the project if you want to use any specific link or if you want to create routes you can use this okay but we will create different types of component we will create different types of module and inside the specific module we will create specific module okay so inside this we can just set the path and the component name so in this way we can create okay but here we will create the routes modular wise okay so let's create one module first okay so to create a module just go to the terminal and ng4 angular g4 generate aim for module and we will create a user module first and we will use the routing okay so if you want to create routing along with the module creation so we can use hyphen hyphen routing okay so just enter this so you can see the two files created that is user routing module and the user module the ts that is the typescript file okay so just go to the visual studio code and you can see there is a user module and inside this we are getting the user routing dot module dot ts okay so if we just go to the app routing module dot ts and if you check user routing dot module dot ts the main difference this is actually the root route okay so this is you can see the main difference is it is for roots and this is for child okay now i will create some component inside this user module suppose i want to create some things that is i want to get the menu like home course blog uh, etc you can have any kinds of menu inside your application suppose i want to create some components for this so to create component so i will create that is ng for angular g for generate c for component and i will create component inside this user directory so we will use user slash suppose my component name is home okay so in this way we will create some others component also suppose blog and i will create suppose course so we are creating three components and if we just go to the visual studio code you can see inside the user we are getting these three components so there have the component file okay so now if you just go to the blog component.html you can see the blog works so i am writing this is from blog component okay sorry it will be this and i'll just copy this and we'll change the others two components so course.component.html and here we'll write the course okay and same way in the home.component.html we will write the home okay so all the html file changed 
now register this component inside the module routes okay so now just go to the user routing module.ts and we'll import the component okay so i will just delete these things not delete i am just closing these things okay we don't need this for now so i am going to open the component file that is home component.ts so this is the component name so i want to register into this routing and here write from and write dot slash home and inside the home that is home component okay so in the same way just import the block component so here first write from slash blog slash block component okay so now it will get suggestion about the block component so write block component okay and here write import and from dot slash the course slash course component okay and now course dot component course component okay so all the three component are registered into the user routing model ts so now i am going to create links for this so just use this suppose i am creating a path so for path so if we just going to click this home link it will use the component the name of the component is home component in this way just copy these things and paste again and paste it again okay so i will create link for blog and the course okay so the component will be the block component and here it will be course component okay so we are creating basically three routes so now just go to the app component dot html file so this is the app component html file here i am going to create a menu okay so how we can create a menu so just use the bootstrap menu so just go to the google and here write bootstrap and there is a get bootstrap.com and get started suppose i want to use a neighbor okay so here the neighbor is suppose i want to use this neighbor so this okay so just copy this and paste it here so we'll create so we'll set path for this so for home we'll use the router link so right here router link so here the router link is home okay so in this way just use this router link so router link is here suppose blog and i want to change the label that is blog and it is course okay so for course the link is course okay so right here first router link equal to course okay so all are set so now if we just go to the browser we can see the menu so here we can see our menu is created that is home blog and course but now if we just click on this it will not work okay so we need to use the router outlet okay so right here out let okay so now it is registered the router section but still if you check it will not work why it is not working because we are creating the component from the user module but we have not registered the user module inside this app module.ts so just go to the app module.ts and here we need to import the user module then we can access the user module things so right here import and write from dot slash user and we'll write user module dot ts okay so we don't need to use dot ts so here we'll include that is user module okay and in the import section 
we need to include the module name so right here user module okay so now if we just go to the browser we can see this menu and click on the block so it is coming from this is from block component this is from course component and this is from home component so it is for user menu if we just want to create a separate menu that is suppose i want to create the create block section or manage comment section or create course section inside the admin menu then we will create separate module for this and we will create separate routing also for this okay so when we will load the user related things it will not load all the routes at a time it will just load the user modules and its routes okay so this is a great feature okay so this tutorial will help you very much when you are going to set up a large project actually if you use a module specific router it will be very easy to manage and can maintain a good coding structure and the most important thing is it will be increase the project performance so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day we are going to discuss about the another level of routing that is the grouping that is the group route okay suppose in admin panel there also have the blog link or course link so how we can separate that link so we can group all the routes link so next video the final video of routing and after that you will get the full concept of angular route so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day